Let's take a closer look now at the syntax and semantics of anonymous functions and application. An anonymous function expression has a keyword fun at the beginning of it. So yes, fun is a keyword in OCaml. I love that. After that, there are some arguments to that function. These are the names of the parameters as they will be known in the body of the function, x1 through xn. Of course, you can name these as you could name any other identifier in OCaml. Then there's a little piece of punctuation, which is the dash greater than. That's meant to look like an arrow. The idea is that it's a transformation of the input into the output. And finally, the body of the anonymous function e, which itself can be any expression. How do we evaluate functions? Nothing to do. Think of an anonymous function just like an integer, or a string, or a Boolean. All of those are already values. There's no computation to be done with them. It's the same thing for an anonymous function. There's no computation to do at that point. A common mistake people make is they think, well, maybe the body of the function would be evaluated then. Turns out it's not. The OCaml rules of evaluation say that the body of the function is not evaluated until the time that the function is applied. So we're done. There's no further computation to be done. The anonymous function is already a value. Anonymous functions go by another name out in the programming language universe. They're known as lambda expressions. The origin of the name comes from mathematics. It actually comes from the notation lambda x dot e. This means the same thing as the anonymous function syntax that we've already seen in OCaml, just written a little differently. Think of the lambda here as meaning what follows is an anonymous function, just like the fun keyword does in OCaml. You'll find lambdas all over the place. Here are four different examples. Python has lambda expressions. You create them with the syntax lambda, which is itself a keyword in Python. Java has lambda expressions. You would have seen those last semester in 2110. There's a very popular programming languages blog called Lambda the Ultimate. If you really get into programming language theory, you'll enjoy reading this. And finally, one of my favorite YouTube videos, Lambda Style, performed by a professor at UCSD. I walk them to the street and eat up for repression. But this is a conducting and productive type conversion. They refine us so slow to eat up a subversion. The new C sharp or Microsoft crack. They refine your code. You will have one type that we pass function closure there. Or means the city can be back to bad or go to bad. Just we don't you see it's no fight and love the other fan. It's the promise man. Lambda style. In summary, functions are values. Now, that was a design decision that might not have been apparent at first, but is going to have far reaching consequences in OCaml. Since functions are values, we can use them anywhere we would use other values. That means functions can take functions as arguments, and functions can return functions as results. This is an incredibly powerful language feature, and it is one of the distinguishing features of functional programming.